What's up my biker friends and welcome back to another video. This is gonna be a very short review between the Alpine Stars Toucan series which I've owned now for almost five years and I put 75,000 kilometers on it against the Alpine Stars Tech 7 series with the dry star membrane in it which is a new product for 2020 so stay tuned. <laughs> Well guys, I'm just returning from the adventure ride competition and that was one of the main reasons why I bought the Tech 7 by Alpine Stars. I've had the uh, Alpine Stars Toucan series now for almost five years. I put about 75,000 kilometers on the boots. They were starting to fall apart. So I was looking for a new replacement. I initially thought I would get the Toucans again because I was really happy with that boot. As a, it's an amazing touring boot. It's relatively comfortable for the protection that it offers and of course it has a Gore-Tex membrane so it'll make sure that your feet stay dry and the water stays out. Now I was participating in an off-road training with the Enduro Action team and then it occurred to me that uh, maybe a bit more protection to do this kind of stuff would be nice. So I was looking around and Alpine Star is really the only manufacturer that builds a motocross style boot with the level of protection that you can expect for a motocross style boot with a waterproof membrane. Now they're not using Gore-Tex, they're using their own dry strand membrane. So I was looking at that product and I wasn't quite sure if I should get that over the Toucan. Now the main reasons why I actually went for the Tech 7 rather than buying the Toucan again is because it will offer better protection. Actually seeing the boots in real life, um, there's definitely more protection that you can expect from the Tech 7. When you think about it, it's only one level down from the Tech 10, which is their premium line of off-road boots. So it offers quite a bit of protection. It's also quite a bit higher and it just feels all around a bit more snug. So we'll probably take a bit longer to break in. The, uh, the Toucan now after all these years feels almost like a sneaker to me. It's really comfortable. I can wear it the entire day long. But now having these boots on for the entire ride competition, I think they're broken in pretty well. They still feel a bit tighter, you know, you can't expect more after wearing a boot for two days. But I was really, really happy to have these because there was one incident where I crashed the bike and the bike actually landed on my left foot. It fell over to the left Shit. side and landed on my left foot. And I was really happy to have a boot that was quite a bit higher because the place where the bike landed was entirely covered by the boot and, and it didn't take away any injuries. And that was the main reason why I got the boot to get the maximum level of protection out of it. Also, what was really important to me, I didn't just want to buy a boot to do these sort of off-road events, which are only a couple of days a year or maybe a few days a year. But I also wanted a boot that I can use for touring. So the dry star membrane, a waterproof membrane was quite important for me. It was raining when I came here, um, the first hour of riding here, um, the boots stayed right I wouldn't have expected the boots to get wet of course I haven't taken them yet through a six hour rain ride so that's still out so overall I'm quite happy with the purchase that I've made getting the added protection but not sacrificing the waterproofness so it's still a boot that you can take for touring and it's now comfortable enough to actually stay in it for the entire day we started our day early in the morning so I had the boot on at seven o'clock in the morning and on the very last day, we stayed until 1.30 at night and had to boot on the entire time. It was comfortable enough. So if you are torn between buying one or the other, and if you're looking for the extra protection, that's really the only option that you have on the market right now. If you want uh, the most protective waterproof touring or motocross boot on the market. Guys, if you liked the video, found this helpful, give me a thumbs up. If you have comments, leave them in the comment section. If you aren't already, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Ride safe and stay awesome.